I'm here to assist you with all your test equipment needs, from multimeters and test weights to patient simulators and x-ray analyzers. If you need guidance or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write me at jbarber at bcgroupinternational.com. What's up everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're gonna to take a look at a portable CT and it's a smaller CT than what you guys are probably typically used to seeing. And the special thing about this guy is that it has no cord that's needed for it to be operable. So it's a portable CT and that's truly a special thing. Built here in, well, technically this is Boston, right? All right, all right. Boston, Massachusetts. And we're gonna talk about the Omniton, all right? So let me switch this around. I'll introduce you to the machine and we'll talk about the tech that's behind this crazy device. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're gonna to talk about mobile CTs. Specifically, the Omniton. This is a portable CT and that means that it can move around. It's smaller than what you'd traditionally think of a CT to be. But notice there's also no cord and it is running. That's right folks, it's a mobile small CT called Omniton. And uh, it's an incredible device. We're gonna take a look at it, go through some of the tech that's underneath the covers and just give it a formal through. All right. Okay. So what do we wanna look at? So uh, this device here, it actually is pretty unique because it doesn't have standard wheels. It does not move around like most people would think it moves around. It's got omnidirectional wheels. Can we get a, a demo of how this guy moves? It's got a handle that moves in all different directions. So you can tilt it left, right. It turns, it actually walks sideways. And these are just the mobility wheels. And they're used for getting it in position And it's so quiet. It's crazy quiet. Absolutely. And it's controlled by a tablet. You can see we have the tablet over here set up. And if you take a look down here, those are ultrasonic sensors, I believe. Ultrasonic sensors. So just like on your car, we have ultrasonic sensors that are around the perimeter, and they can give you a live 360 view of what's going on so that you do not hit any obstructions or hurt any patients. Yep. And then I did notice on the front side over here, there is a sensor right here. What's this guy for? This camera down here is to line it up with your bed. Okay. Um, when you pull into a patient's room, you get, you have, all you have to do is get it close to the edge of the bed. All right. And then you would prepare for a scan and it would automatically line up to your table bed. So your patient is perfectly centered going into the room. Excellent. So it lines up with the patient, and you can see we got a phantom going in there right now. And then it will drop down from its current wheels to the wheels that are going to actually tractor it back and forth according to the scan. Because you have to either move the patient or move the, the scanner in order to do a scan. You guys are unfamiliar with CTs. Normally there is a table that moves the patient into position, but in this particular instance, the machine itself has to move. That is so cool. Okay. It's precision movement as it would be standing over a patient. Oh, look at that. Silky smooth. Silky smooth. So it has to be calibrated. You got what, one or two drive motors on this guy? Two drive motors. Okay. Individual. Um, drive motors, encoders on there, four calibrations, so it guarantees straight movement back and forth every time. That's excellent. What's the input power requirement? So this will run off 120. 120. Really? That's impressive. 120 okay. volts at 20 amps, standard household, 20 amp outlet would run it. Okay. And for this particular machine, now I, I know that you could use it for head scans, but um, what about pediatrics? Pediatrics, uh, neural scans, pediatrics. Extremities, um, okay. Legs. Right. Um, small animals, vets will use this. As That's well. crazy. When I found out that, that they could use this for animals, I didn't even consider that. That's wild. And also, MSU's mobile stroke units. They can put this in an ambulance. 
Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so this would be mounted on, a on linear rails. On linear rails. And it will walk back and forth on linear rails according to the scan. And the reason that they would want a mobile CT unit for a stroke is because you could treat um, stroke live right there in somebody's driveway if you really needed to, which would revolutionary uh, it would revolutionize stroke because every single second that a aneurysm or something happens, that could be uh, deadened brain tissue, and you know it Time could spray. yeah. That is exactly right. That's amazing. Well, guys, we have been running this thing. It's moved around. It is not plugged in. And uh, it looks beautiful. But let's take a look behind the covers. Here we are in Boston. And they're, they got a couple different lines running. This is the Omniton line. And you can see it without the covers on. We've got the omnidirectional wheels. We've got the power center. Everything is labeled. It's done so beautifully. It's pretty incredible. You can see how everything is labeled. I didn't know that. Like everything that comes off this board, it's got the blue tape that signifies that it originates here. That is so cool. And they're in various stages of production. Here's a unit that's about 60% see the detail that goes into it everything is lined everything's labeled and it's done with precision the castings are absolutely beautiful and as you can imagine it's a very heavy machine but do you guys uh, also offer training on these right we do we do uh, technical training in-house and on-site uh, for users that's cool and I would normally think that a device this complex is something that a lot of OEMs would say, hey, we're the only ones that can touch that because obviously there's a lot that could potentially go wrong. But that's one of the clear advantages that these guys have is not only that their equipment is well documented, but the fact that they also have an incredible knowledge base. So when you go to their training, you get access to their knowledge base and you can help troubleshoot your own devices. Excellent guys, there we have it. That is the Omniton, naked and unnaked. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys.